So Cameron, here is a, a new experience for you, ex new experience about the race, but also about the food. Yeah, it's uh, obviously a very important part of cycling is uh, our nutrition. And uh, as you can see here, we tend to find salads and vegetables which we wouldn't otherwise get in Europe or even Australia or America. Uh, they tend to use a lot of steamed, uh, steamed uh, style cooking, which is very uncommon for us. But uh, the most important is that it's fresh and, uh, and cooked uh, to make sure that it hasn't got anything bad in it and uh, there hasn't been any problems with people getting sick. So judging by yesterday's stage, it would appear that the peloton's got a fair bit of energy. So I don't think there's a big problem with, uh, with the food. Okay, so everything is fine for you about the food. Uh, what is maybe the most uh, unexpected dish you have ever tried here? Uh, I'd have to say they're... Uh, jelly, they're their type of jelly, you think a little dessert, a nice uh, flavoured jelly, but it's sort of, you can find a spinach flavoured jelly or a uh, pumpkin flavoured jelly, which is a little bit different to your normal sugar, sugar ones we have in Australia or in, uh, or in Europe, so uh, that for me was probably the biggest surprise. And do you like it? Oh, I love it, I love it, uh, the dumplings and of course you've got your normal sweet and sour and, uh, and fried dishes, but Unlike other fried, deep fried food, they tend to be quite tasty and I think possibly a little bit more nutritious than what you might get in your regular fast food uh, fast food places and uh, certainly you don't get the, um, the bad aftertaste of, uh, of eating fried food that you would normally get from their uh, freshly prepared uh, freshly prepared goods. Uh, some riders only want to try the pasta and rice here. Um, do you think you are not taking any risk? You mean if something looks very, very strange, of course, you have to be a little bit smart. And you try and avoid anything that's very fresh and looks like they might have used water to uh, clean it or wash it. But as far as uh, anything cooked, I think uh, the Chinese, uh, I think when it comes to food, Asia in general has a pretty good, uh, pretty good record and pretty good skills. So I think we can be pretty confident in uh, what they put on the put, uh, put out for us to eat at night and in the morning. Oh, you speak about the morning, but uh, what is your breakfast here? Well, the good thing is the Chinese seem to love their eggs, and everyone loves their eggs, and everyone normally eats rice, and the Chinese seem to like their rice. So instead of plain rice, we've been having fried rice, but there's about 15 different types of egg varieties. So when you mix the fried rice with whichever type of egg you tend to like, everyone seems to be pretty content at breakfast. So as far as breakfast goes, there's not many uh, different things. The, the dumplings with the steamed vegetables inside is certainly a different delicacy which, you, which is available at breakfast, which we don't have uh, normally at races. But um, I haven't seen many riders trying that one. Uh, although I did see Tony Martin enjoying one yesterday before yesterday's stage. And That's he secret. seemed to be have... Uh, a fair bit of energy and be fairly strong yesterday, so I, perhaps the uh, the steamed vegetables for breakfast could be the thing of the future. Okay, enjoy your meal. Thank you.